Hi guys, how are you? There is not a new letter today because if we were in school, we would not be at school. I know. Today was the day that we were supposed to be visiting some people's houses, but we can't do that. So we gave you some fun things that you can do at home today instead. But I know how much you like your letter videos. Thought today we could try writing some numbers instead of letters, right? So let's see, let's write that number one. Guess what, number one is super easy because guess what it is? Big line down. Super simple, ready? Put it at the top and down. Sometimes people give one extra lines. You don't have to write it that way unless you have a teacher that tells you to. Kind of a fancy one, helps you know that it's not an L or an I. For two, so it starts towards the top. Little curve, big line slant down, big line across the bottom. So then up, then down, uh, slant down, across. So little curve, big slant down, big line across the bottom. That's still pretty easy. Let's try three. Touch the top again. Three is going to be two little curves. So a little curve, a little curve again. Start at the top. A little curve, little curve. Do it one more time. Start at the top. Little curve, little curve. Yeah, it's just like writing letters, aren't they? They just go the other direction. Just look a little different. That's like writing letters. Let's do four. A little line down. Across, jump up to the top, big line down. Start at the side up here, a little line down, across, jump, big line down. Sometimes when people write four, sometimes it goes all the way across and down that way. That's still a four, still okay. Either way, it's still a four. Sometimes there's very fancy where you might see a fancy four in a book. Sometimes it looks kind of like this. That's also still a four. Sometimes computers or books will have fours like that. Still a four. Not usually the way we learn to write it. So four, four, four. All fours. Let's try five. Okay. Five is going to start the other. Five is going to start the other direction. There's two ways to write five. I might go across, down and around. I might go down and around and then across. Those are both fives. Either way is okay with me. Your teacher next year might say to you there's one way they want you to write it and that's okay too. So you could practice both and then you would know. So down and around and across down. or across and down and around. What if I did across, around, and down? Definitely not a five. Let's practice six. So six starts back up at the top. It's like a big curve and a little curve. Yeah. Start at the top. Big curve, little curve. There you go. Let's try. Seven, are you ready? Seven starts at the top. And go across, slant down. Across the top and slant down. Do one more time. Across the top, slant down. Yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I think sometimes people put seven like that because they're very lazy. Usually it's a slant line. We have two more numbers to do. Three, well, I guess three more numbers, right? Let's do eight. So eight's going to be a little curve. Switch the little curve. Switch the little curve. Switch the little curve. Yeah. Little curve, little curve, little curve, little curve. That one's kind of tricky. You might get a grown up to help you with that one if that one's true. That one's hard for you. Little curve, little curve, little curve, little curve. You have to keep switching your hands around. It's a good exercise for your brain to think about that one. 
Sometimes when people write eights, they make two circles. That's still an eight, but the way you're going to learn in school is that it crosses. They're both eights. Little curve, back up, up, oh, makes a zero, and then down. So little curve all the way to zero, little curve, little curve, back down. Sometimes in a book you might see a nine that looks like that. Still a nine, but not usually the way that we learn to write it. It kind of looks like an upside down six, doesn't it? Yeah. Usually when we write nines in school, it looks like this. And I'll show you number 10. 10, we know 10 has two numbers, right? 10 starts with the number one and then a zero. A zero is just like making the letter O. And I know you know how to do that, right? So one is that big line down. Zero is little curve, little curve. Big, or big curve, big curve, depending how big you're making your number. All right. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.